Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of puppets. Today, joined by Brett of Vandermeises, and behind the camera, we got Morton, aka Morton Moogie, who is sharing some beer with us very kindly. Yeah. So thanks a ton, Morton. This is a bottle of double barrel Medianoche from Weldworks, and this is the cognac edition. I don't know the ABV, possibly 15%. That's usually the ABV. 14, 15. With yeah, they don't state it. So, uh, super weird that that's uh, something you're allowed to do in the States, yeah. in some states. But uh, this is a special rye base of Media Noche featuring malted rye, uh, caramelized or crystal rye, and chocolate rye. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm guessing it could be a similar recipe to the Cesarec rye base, which is also a rye centric. Mm -hmm. Mini Noche, and it was Very aged. Rye yes, <laughs> and it was aged uh, for five years in MGP high rye bourbon barrels, or aged for fifteen months in five year MGP high rye bourbon barrels, and after that it was finished in a freshly emptied cognac cask imported directly uh, from France for eight months. So, I think cognac can be really awesome in mm -hmm. barrel aging. Uh, beers, um, Mickler's uh, cognac was a weasel that was crazy good back oh, yeah, in the day. Yeah. Just I just remember that beer for some reason. Yeah, but there's been a few good cognac beers. Yeah, also Pashala did yes. some good ones back yeah. in the day. Oh yeah, wasn't it the partly cognac aged the um, Cola Vestrise? Yeah. Uh, what was it called? Yeah, uh, I actually can't like remember that one, but I think Tanilin was. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, Tanilin. Yeah, yeah. Cognac. So I always love to check out uh, their. Uh, their flavor profile, yeah. So it also says something about 23 months of aging. So I'm guessing it spent 23 months in the bottle or what? They're talking about the... So it says uh, Cooper Field from medium plus toast. So the medium to the barrels, the cognac barrels are uh, medium plus toast French limousine oak barrels. And then it says after combining 23 months of aging, so that's the total aging time, of oh, course, yeah, yeah. Of both they the got flavors of French hot chocolate, whatever that is. Mm. Salted caramel, milk chocolate, orange balls, cinnamon, crumb coffee cake, and candied pecans. They got some crazy tasting notes on yeah. their beers. I mm. mean, they, they must have some great taste buds. Yeah. Uh, to <laughs> awesome creative. Creative taste, taste, taste buds. buds. Taste like chocolate yeah. and cognac. Or, or a good marketing department. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but S, with all media notches, it pours insane but, but this one is insanely thick it almost like. pours like a sauce like look you yeah. know it's when you swirl it it's absolutely it's insane. so thick and the reason why modern wanted to share this with us was because we talked about we loved the accessory grime you know chip but we talked about if it had a touch more brightness it mm. might be even better yeah and this one might have that because yeah. of cognac i can smell I guess From here, some slightly more vibrant, uh, fresh yeah. kind of barrel notes. I can definitely smell the cognac. Yeah. Oh, there was a touch there. I shouldn't try that. <laughs> Not yet. Yeah. But yeah, it's thick, it's rich, not really much of head. But what kind of develops is really brown, like <coughs> crazy dark brown. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's check out the aroma. That mm. smells fucking awesome. Yeah, I really smell the cognac. Good. Yeah. It has a huge, like, oh. uh, almost like a... So I'm getting like a fortified grape type aroma, and fortified uh, is my like a sweeter type of a grape, but also like you can that like distilled almost caramelly grape thing. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of like French dark chocolate desserts. Yeah, or like uh, a ganache, dark chocolate yeah, ganache. Yeah, something like that. And I see. So they did they talk about any berries? No, not really. No, they took orange balls, but I'm getting like like a, a almost like. A, boysenberry or uh, blackberry or something like just like lightly yeah i'm actually uh, also getting a, a, a kiss of almost like something slightly uh, citric like orange peel or something yeah well they also talk about that i can yeah. definitely see yeah. it and it's a little bit of savory umar umami umami yeah. but loads of caramel yeah and deep rich intense caramel notes yeah but it's it has a nice. I think it's definitely the cognac barrel giving it this slightly almost like perfumey touch. Yeah. Of, yeah, of perfumey fr fragrance. Perfumey like uh, fruit notes that kind of lifts it a bit so that yeah. it's not just heavy, heavy and dark, jarry, yeah. spicy. And there's definitely rye coming through. There's definitely lots of vanilla coming through. Um, yeah. I'm also getting a bit of a white pepper. And there's tobacco. Definitely. Uh, loads of that actually. And, yeah. and it's definitely like a really dense kind of tobacco. Dark chocolate. 
covered like yeah or like grapes or some or maybe uh, some kind of like really dark berry um, the, the more i smell it the cognac really dominates actually yeah. over the rye mm -hmm. uh, i think so but it smells awesome it, it, it smells really does really great should we try it yeah let's do it cheers thanks cheers. a ton morton vulgar base beer <laughs> but fuck that's tasty so I'm think I think media noche is like it's the extremes in terms of mouthfeel. Yeah. It's like I think if this had additions of like coconuts and stuff, it'd be way too much. Yeah. Um, surprising high acidity. Yeah, it has definitely really the really acidity high acidity of, of grapes or yeah. something. Grapes or or Red like grapes. black black uh, black or black blackberries or blackberries yeah. or something. Yeah, like that. I wouldn't say black currant because that's very sour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why I also changed. Mm. Wedding. I'm getting an ashy burnt roastiness in the aftertaste, which is really nice, like almost smoky. And I'm still actually getting that touch of something like slightly maybe like orange peel, like citric. Yeah, yeah, I can like, see it. Um, there is almost like those Tump's orange chocolate yeah. things with coquette yeah. in. Yeah. Um, I don't know what that is. Like, like, yeah, with like really dark chocolate. Yeah, it's like 80, 90% dark chocolate yeah. flavor. Yeah. It's, also it's because dark, dark chocolate, chocolate has, a, you know, acidity that's similar yeah. to this. Yeah, and bitterness. Yeah. Because it also has a decent bitterness. Yeah. It's a, it's definitely brighter than the rye. I, I don't think they're as comparable just because, I mean, it has some brightness and there's a touch of rye, but it's not the same crazy heavy flavors. And I think that's just the barrel. I think so. Because the base is like, it's vulgarly. It's vulgar. Thick. Like this is not something I would like to sit and drink a whole bottle on my own. I think no. I think I, I hundred percent need someone to drink this. This one. has the same thickness as the one I told you about from Ology. Yeah. The ir irrefutable logic. Yeah. Like that and that's borderline like sauce, too much sauce texture. Yeah. I like I love that it's so thick, mm. uh, but I I don't need more thickness than this at all no and i why could would be... you need more thickness yeah, than yeah. this it's not necessary no 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 it's just crazy but i i think i know so this was i didn't get this one when it was released but i've seen like ratings and and i, I it's not the highest rated of the media notches and i know why acidity yeah people are so scared of acidity in stouts mm. and it's crazy and so yeah. many people as soon as they taste acidity they're like yeah. oh, infection yeah but it's, not... it's because people, a lot of people, they're just beer drinkers and they don't know, you know, behind everything behind process and whatnot. But when you have a beer with this high amount of roasted malts that's boiled for so long, even though you ramp up the pH after the boil, you're gonna taste acidity, a hundred percent. And the longer you boil and the more you use of those like roasted ingredients and whatnot, the more acidity you'll get. Yeah. So it's gonna shine through. The, if, if a beer is this intense, sugary, rich, oily, uh, and, and, and like barrel aged and strong, like 14, 15 per percent, the chance of lactobacillus, for example, surviving in this is like zero. Yeah. Lactobacillus is surprisingly fragile. The only thing that might survive in something like this is Brettanomyces, mm. but Brettanomyces can, you know, be in a beer and not even do anything. Yeah. It can just lay dormant even as well. I, I think it was batch one of A Deal With The Devil actually has Brettanomyces mm. because Gabe just put Brettanomyces in everything back in the day. So, so I think it's it's about appreciation of tart flavor in stout. And to appreciate it, I think you need some of these bright, hefty flavors and all mm. these other things that's in here, and then it's nice enough. I think if, if it was a, the, the a weaker base, the acidity would be way off. Yeah, and I also think it's a wise choice with the cognac mm. barrel because it the fruity elements it contributes with yeah. kind of suits that the berries really and all like... That yeah, yeah it, it suits like the as association or like the, the things you associate with this kind of acidity yeah i can't help but think like a dark chocolate ganache with like some kind of uh, uh, blackberry or boysenberry compote or something mm. or not maybe even just fresh berries because of the bright tartness in it yeah uh, something like that yeah because it's really dark chocolate ganache like yeah and, and again these really huge layers of depth of caramel Mm. Uh, in this one yeah. and, and there is some spicy rye and there's definitely also some more like peppery-esque flavors yeah, I think and there's has, all the tobacco and all that as well yeah it definitely has this tobacco almost cigar like quality to it and then i'd also say like burnt hazelnut mm. Uh, mm. but i also got it's that really from great. sazerac yeah it's really really fucking great yeah. 
Um, massive impression beer, but yeah, 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 you know, hundred percent. Uh, it's it's perfect that we're splitting this three people. Yeah, and you could even go four, I think, mm. for sure. I love that. Yeah, it's like a glass, like roast and you know, that's the size of mine now would also be fine. Yeah. Yeah, and like again, sweetness is like it's it's not it's got some fudgy profiles and whatnot, but I, it drinks more like a stout than yeah, yeah. a lot of the really pastry medianoches, for example, that are just uh, obscenely crazy. Even though those are also really nice, uh, but yeah, I think it's really good. So in terms of grade, I I think I might have enjoyed the Sazerac a touch more, just by a hair. Uh, I can't remember what I gave that one. I think you gave that a 96. Yeah, 95 and I gave it a 96. 96. I didn't like it as much as you. No. Um, yeah, I remember thinking that one was a little too much in just the same, like, charity dark, dark, yeah. dark de department. I really like the brightness on this one, yeah. too. But I I don't know if the if this is heavy or what it is, but I think to some extent it's almost like it, the, the base beer are getting too vulgar and stout. Mm. At least in some expressions of stout but it's still world-class beer yeah me. yeah probably say so like a I think, strong 95 yeah, i was thinking 95 or 96 mm. just a tad lower than the sazerac just because i like that a bit more yeah um and i think i don't mind the acidity in this but i think maybe the reason why i like that more is because it has a little less acidity as well than this one yeah um, but i love the presence of the cognac barrel it's a breath yeah, of fresh air me too but yeah i'd love to see the cognac Barrels being used by a lot of other breweries too. Yeah. Just like people playing around more with a lot of different things because like, I think the reason why a lot of Americans use bourbon is of course in rye is because they can get it so fresh. Mm. Uh, so it'd be fun to see more European producers play around with local spirits and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, world class, fucking dope. Yeah, I might even go a small 96 when I'm finished with the class, I don't know. But yeah. but otherwise, a really strong 95. It's a huge beer. Yeah, it's a massive monstrosity. Yeah. yeah. So, thanks a ton for sharing, yeah. Martin. If you guys had a chance to try the Double Barrel Made in Noche Cognac Edition, let us know what you thought of it. And as always, subscribe, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, give this video a thumbs up, enjoyed it, ring the bell for future notifications about videos, and we're going to like, cheers. Yeah, cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.